All right, guys, so I'm kind of just scouting the water out right now, looking for some false albies or some uh, bonita. And uh, I actually just came through the inlet, you know, back from a charter. I was working earlier this morning, and we caught the limited stripers in less than two hours. So we headed back in, and on the way in, I saw a lot of false albacore, you know, blitzing, breaking water, and a lot, you know, maybe there was some bonita mixed in. I really don't know. But uh, the conditions look really good. It looks like we got a front coming through. I'm seeing a lot of bird activity. I'm seeing a lot of bait. And, um, you know, I'm seeing a lot of flocks of birds. So there's definitely some little tuna in the area. I'm going to give it a shot and uh, launch the kayak. Hopefully I can get into a few. I'm gonna start off trolling with the fly rod with this little fly here and uh, you know I'm gonna put it behind the kayak like you know maybe 20 25 yards not that far at all I kind of want that fly to skip along the surface kind of like if I'm trolling for tuna offshore see this small little flock of birds here there's albies right below them hopefully they'll hit this fly try and get a good angle All right, well, it seems like the fly isn't working too well. I tried trolling it through at least like four or five different schools of feeding albies. And uh, that, that's what I was doing the other day. I was trolling the same little fly here. And, um, you know, that's what they were hitting right on the surface. But, you know, it was right before dark when they were hitting it. So they might be uh, keying in on something a little different. I'm gonna try throwing around uh, this deadly dick for a little while, or you know, I might switch over to like a little Hopkins spoon. Any kind of little pieces of metal usually will catch an albi. All right, they're right here in front of me. Come on. Oh, just had a bite. Look at this, they're going crazy. I just can't hook up, man. They're all, they're all around me right now. All around me. They just won't hit this little deadly dick. I'm gonna switch back over to the fly, try trolling that around. Fish on. I don't know what it is. If it's an albie, it's really tiny. I think it might be an albie. A really small one. <laughs> yeah, definitely an albie. Woo! Oh, you got off. Look at this. Oh, they're going crazy right now. Oh, gosh, I got to hook up. I've got to hook up. Come on, baby. There he is. Got him. Got him, man. Got to keep up with this one so I don't lose him. There we go. That's the money right there. 
I miss this feeling. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh yeah. You gotta love Albies. Gotta love them. Woo! Oh, I gotta keep up with them. Oh yeah. Oh, these things are so hard to keep up with. <laughs> this one's digging for the bottom. I gotta reel myself to the tuna. <laughs> I got color, I saw him. All right, I got the leader. I can see the leader, but he's not coming up. This fish does not want to come up. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, this is great. A little Suffolk sand eel is what did it. Hopefully this fish cloughs up some of the bait that it's feeding on because I really don't have any idea of what it's feeding on. Maybe peanut bunker, sand eel, spearing, a little white bait, could be a variety of stuff. Not a giant, but hey, it's a little tuna. It's a little alby. Oh, he's actually pretty good. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha, right there. That's what I've been waiting for. Woo! These fish are just so cool. Such a sick fish. Such a sick fish. And that's basically the little fly he ate right there. Woo! See you later, buddy. There he goes. Woo! Let's catch another. Yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> you guys get any? Yeah, we got one. I got one. <laughs> I got some albies right in front of me feeding right now. I don't want to look over there, though, because it's really rough out, so... Sorry if the uh, first part of the video where I caught my first albie was poor quality. But it's just every five seconds I keep getting splashed. So all I'm doing it right now is just tr trying to look back away from the wind and away from the, the waves. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. That's a good one. Man, that albie hit it like a ton of bricks. Woo! Oh, I gotta keep up with them. Oh no. I'm drifting towards him and he's swimming to me. Ah, oh, he came off. There's too much wind and current and uh, you know, I should have kept pad uh, pedaling forward. But what happened is is I stopped pedaling forward and that little tuna just swam right to me and the hook came out. On my next fish, I'm just gonna keep pedaling forward. Oh, I got, I got Albies right here behind me. Look at this, they're jumping out of the water. That's great. Let's see if I can hook up real quick again. Woo, they're going crazy right in front of me. Hopefully I can hook up. Look at this, <laughs> insanity. There he is. Oh, I had a bite. I had a fish. All right, well, the bite seems to be dying down a little bit. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh my gosh. I really, I, I didn't see an Albi for like 10, 15 minutes. And first cast right behind the kayak. 
I hook up. I can't make a mistake like I did the last time I hooked up with a good fish like this. And that was start drifting down current. And then the tuna just starts swimming up current and then there's too much slack in the line and he gets off. I just absolutely love these little tuna. They're such a challenge to catch and they fight so hard it just makes me want to come back for more. These guys will totally burn your arms out fast, man. I'm thinking this one is a little bit bigger than the one I landed before. Feels a little bit heavier. A little bit bigger. Oh, I just missed him. Just missed him. I was going for the tail grab. Oh, I got him. Woo! Another beauty right there. Woo! Such a cool fish again. What's up, buddy? Just on that same fly pattern, that little Suffolk sand eel. Oh, don't worry, bud. See you later. All right, wheels are on, and uh, I'm completely done. I pedaled for probably two hours nonstop to catch two tuna and lose three tuna. I'm pretty much soaking wet, and so is my kayak. But hey, you know what? It was totally worth it. But uh, all in all, definitely a good outing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or comments, just post that in the comment section below. Or look in the description below for any more information about tackle and equipment. And uh, you know, it's only September 18th, 19th. <laughs> I fish so much, I forget the days. So there's still plenty of fall season left to catch some albies. So uh, hopefully I can get into a few more. Never forget guys, Live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys out on the water.